What's going on, guys? Sin for the win here, and we're back with our uh, franchise mode as a fantasy drafted Winnipeg Jets. We're right up here at the trade deadline, and uh, we got a couple, a couple things to take care of. Um, I think we're gonna do some trading now. I did do a little bit of scouting, looking around uh, before I got here. I wanted to have an idea of what I was looking for, so we could finish off hopefully the rest of the season in this video as well. So I was reading you guys' comments. Um, there's a lot. There's a few good ideas. Um, someone was saying to trade away our second line center. Um, that I don't want to do. Um, if you guys know, our second line center is Spooner, and I kind of want to give him the chance to get a little bit better. Um, he's got two years left to get better, and I'd like him to get better. I mean, he has a great passing rating, good offensive awareness. Like, he could be a really good second line center, you know? Like, uh, I want to give him the chance at least, you know, at least uh, for a while. And because we know we're also training up, uh, where's he at? Strom. Yeah, we're trading up Dylan Strom as well. So, you know, he's going to take a little... Actually, he's 78. Crazy. Did he... I don't know if he started at 78. I'm not too sure, actually. But, yeah, I think he's, he's down in the juniors. Yeah, he's down in the juniors right now. Uh, getting a lot better. So, I mean, we'll hold on. I want to hold on to Spooner right now because he's not ready yet and we still have to make the playoffs, you know? So, we got to hold on to Spooner. Who we need to look at to trade is uh, someone like Vanek. You know, he's... He, we can get away with him. But, uh, it's tough. I mean, yeah, we could hold on to him. But, I mean, look at his stats. Like, it's just not great. Like, not good at all. Um, so I was thinking about, you know, trying to ship him off. And also, we were looking at our third line left winger in, uh, Thorburn. Thorburn, we were looking to ship out as well. Because he's just not quite good enough. That defensive awareness is a bit too low the shot blocking and stick checking can help boost it up but it's just i like the defensive awareness to be around 83 84 at least for like a third line i prefer 85 but it's pretty tough to get um so if we can we're going to try to package them all in uh there's a few options there's few options to be able to do that though so uh what i'm going to look at is trying to make two separate trades so vanik i'm going to put vanik in and i might have to go with a pick for this one so let's let's say we'll throw in the second all right i think it was on the I think he was on this team now we're looking at someone who could just play second line but someone who's not too old but not too young and i was looking at someone like jvr all right so the, here's the thing about jvr that trade still might not go through and i can understand that um he's a power forward on the left wing but he's got a pretty good shot it's pretty much on par with vanek um good you know good offensive awareness good puck skills pretty decent skater he's good defensively as well um he's a physical guy you could impose you know on that second line and you know i'm i'm kind of digging it i he, he's someone who's like a dedicated second liner the problem is it's you know they want vanek they don't want to give up jvr they don't want this pick either but this doesn't go through as it is like no way it's like if we tried it yeah they're they're pissed about that Maybe they say they really want something outstanding. So we could add in, try to add in another pick. Um, which I said, gets it gets kind of iffy if we're trying to add in all these picks. It is going to be a weaker draft here. But that doesn't mean we can just, you know, force them to do crap they don't want to do. So that's going to be tough to get him. But I think I do want to try to get him. I mean, we could package that guy in and try to, you know, bring someone up from the AHL or something. I could bring up John Scott. You know, and we can move someone up from that fourth line. It's definitely a possibility, but that does kind of weaken us on the back end, if you know what I mean. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. You can always, you know, we can always pick up some guys like that. And when you think about this, we're locking in an offensive threat for a good amount of time. See, they want Thorburn too, which is why I'm kind of leaning towards doing that. We're throwing Thorburn, Vanek, and a second for JVR. Oh man, they really don't want to give him up. Like I don't want to do the first. I'll throw in the third as well. Um, but this is someone I really want, which is why I'm kind of overextending for it. I think it's a, it's a big thing to do, and we'll still hold on, hold on to our first. Jesus, it, this is really worth your while, man. All right, well we're, we'll hold off on that for now. God damn it, they're being dicks about it. So hold on, there's a few more that I wanted to look at. I don't remember that what teams are on now because that pissed me off. God damn. They really didn't want to give him up. No, it wasn't there. Tatar, no, I don't want that. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I was looking at Jokinen and, uh, and Abdulkader, but it's you're not really getting anyone who can do the same or even better. 
MacArthur, no, 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 neither of those. Got enough. I have to go through every team now because I can't remember. I was. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think this guy's too good though. I think that guy's a little too good. Yeah, he had higher value. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had higher value. Yeah, we're not getting any of those guys. No way. Or, you know, hold on. Who was it? I was thinking... No, nah, I... The thing is, I was thinking about actually moving Sedin. But the thing is, like, we could do that. But he's also really good for us right now. And I kind of don't want to... Ooh, mess up what the first line has. But I'm... It's tough. It's a tough situation. Oh, man. Where was he? Shoot. There's one other player that I was looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy this guy is a playmaker, though, on the other hand. So I would have two playmakers and a sniper, which I'm not a huge fan of. And, yeah. So that's why I was on the fence more with that one. How about this guy? I didn't check this guy out. Wait a sec. Panarin. 87 sniper 25 you could still get better i think you, that's too much value yeah that's way too much value i think yeah hold on put on put in someone like a Kreider. hold on shouldn't have moved out all those guys vanik yeah they don't want vanik which sucks that's a really that would have been a really big thing for us to have them want vanik yeah there's no way that'll go through either yeah, so it's very tough right now to try to make one of these trades go through. And, I mean, I would have to give up so much to get JVR that I don't think it would be worth it. Like, we can go for Vander Kane, but I don't... I, I, his shooting category is not great for a sniper. And if I'm going to get, you know, I might as well, you know, get the power forward. I was looking at Brad Marchand, but I was like, I don't think so. Two-way forward, no. Not really. So we're still going to look for something here. Or, you know, we might have to just settle and just, you know, trade away for the bottom. I mean, if we have to settle, if there's nothing really here, then I'm not going to try to, you know, overextend and force something through. Yeah, there is a Max Domi, but again, that's another playmaker. His trade value is nice and low, but he's only listed to be top six. So he'd be career second liner as another playmaker. Uh, you know, not really. That's my thing on it. Like, I wouldn't really want to go for him. Yeah, these guys had nothing. Dallas, on the other hand, same thing, kind of nothing. I mean, we yeah, Erickson is an idea, but I was, you know, I was, I was very specific, kind of, in what I was looking for. See, if we went for Boone Jenner, this guy's a freaking two-way forward, though. Again, I don't really want a two-way forward on my top six. I might have to go with one, but it's not really something I want. Now, I could go with Skinner. That's always an idea. He's got the low enough trade value. I was kind of trying to stay away from him, but, I mean... He's got great stats this year. He's listed to be second line. Looks like he's playing first line. Um, you know, it might be something we have to do. So let's pick. Let's throw the Skinner in there, and uh, we might have to throw Thorburn in there as well. Yeah, because they do want him. We'll throw Thorburn in there. I, uh, yeah, they'd have too many players, too many skaters. They would have, so we'd have to take back someone. Uh, just do it forward like a garbage skater. With no value, but only with like a year left. Yeah, like Petrell. There we go. So that is approved, but uh, will this go through? No. Okay. I'll throw in that third, and then if not that, uh, we might have to give up trading Vanek. That's just going to have to be a reality. We might have to do it. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's another second. What am I doing? So second, well, that is a second from a long way off. I mean, I could, we could do that, but oh man, it screwed it up. I hate when it does that. All right, so yeah, they want the th actually they do want the third, so that might help it. Let's try. No. Yeah, they really don't want that. Hmm. What if I t did try that second from like years and years off? It's a bit, it's a bit much to be honest, but I really, I really do want to make this trade go through. Jesus, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, it's not, it's not looking good. 
It's not looking good trying to ship off Vanek. I, you know, I can't really imagine why teams would want someone like Vanek, so it does make a lot of sense. And, yeah, I mean, it'd have to be someone that everyone wants to give up, and no one wants to give up, like, a guy like Skinner or a guy in their prime. Like, it's tough. It's very, very tough to get someone like that. You know, I mean, look, even they don't even want to give away, like, an Andrew Ladd or anything like that. There's no one really who we can logically pick up without giving away way more than we want to. And so we might indeed have to suffer. Who's this guy? Is he a sniper? No, he's a playmaker. I, w I wouldn't be opposed to picking up a young guy and building him up, you know? I'll pick him up for, like, you know, some picks or something like this. Ooh, Carl Hagelin, hold on. He's 85. No, I mean, yeah, see, there's no reason to do that. He's 85. He's not getting any better. I'm just trading down at that point. Hmm. Saka drew in. Wait a sec. Drew in. Hold on. 21. His value is pretty low, which is weird. Let me let me see this. Hold on, hold on. Remove that and remove that. Drew in and Thorburn. We can actually that actually might go through. Vanek Thorburn for Drew in. One year left. Let's see. Okay, I wouldn't. Okay, see, I wouldn't be opposed to downgrading like this because I'm expecting this guy to get better. I think he'll be as good or better than Vanek by the time he's you know directly in his prime. Yeah, I mean, shit, he's got. Wow, he's got some stats on him. Is he down? He can't be down in the AHL, is he? I actually don't know. But I don't see why he would be down in the AHL. Interesting. He's got some really good stats. I mean, it looks like he could produce. Hmm. All right, let's see if he'll go through like this. Vanek and Thorburn for Drew in. No, I'll come. I'll throw in that pick because I do want that. Yeah, we'll throw in that... They do want the second too. So if this doesn't go through, ooh, no, no. All right, all right. If we're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna take back the roster player for the third line. If we're doing that, definitely, I'm gonna take back a roster player. Okay, now who do I want? For, who what kind of roster? Ooh, I might just have to look at a forward in general. Yeah, it might have to be like a center or a right wing that we play on that side because they're a little short on left wings. 83. Nick Spalling. Eh, it might be a little too much value there. Uh, but that's kind of looking like pretty much all they have. Skivior? Skivior. Two-way forward? No, he's got any... No, definitely not with that awareness. Hmm. You know what? Spalling might have to be the guy. Uh, only 83 defensive awareness. Damn, I wish it was a little bit better. Oof. All right, well, if we're not going to do that, then I might remove... Oop, 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 oop. Remove Thorburn. And just keep the second. Yeah, Vanek in the second for Drew, and I'll try to move Thorburn in another way. If this doesn't go through, like, look how much the value is different. Come on. Oh, come on. Mm. They're busting my balls right now. Okay, who else do they want? Uh, skaters on skaters matching the block. Who else can I give them? Eves, don't want to give them that. Mackenzie, who the, who the hell is this guy? Two way forward, twenty six. Yeah, I don't really need. Oh yeah, I am playing him. Hold on, yeah, I am playing him. Thorburn, Eves. I don't want to give up Eves. Yeah, we're using Eves. Any goalies that I can give up? Who the heck is this guy? I'll give him up. I don't care. Yeah, put him in there. Okay, try this. Come on. There we go. All right. So yeah. We threw that in there. That's that's what we needed. Just that one more guy. That goalie, we're not going to use him. He's not even like good enough for AHL, really. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to have some morale changes. So that sucks, but whatever. Uh, roster moves. What do we need to do for roster moves? Go to edit lines. Yes, yes, edit lines. All right, let's see where we're going to throw this guy in now. Yeah, obviously in the second line. Oh, come on. So, yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll trade Thorburn in a sec. So, yeah, throw Druin in there. Uh, substitute in all lines, yeah, for the second line, there we go, so yeah, uh, it does look like on paper, it looks like we do get worse, but I think for the future, and I mean, what it, what it was looking like, he has the same kind of shooting categories as Vanek had, and he's gonna get better, he's just gonna get better over time, and 
He's already got great offensive awareness, too, 90. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Not necessarily for the playoff run, but we could pick up someone down here for the playoff run. Now, like, I'm thinking, like, maybe if I could find, like, a power forward to play on the third line. Like, who can score? Who can, like, put some points up, you know, for Thorburn. Then, then you know, like, like even someone who's older, like someone who's about to retire, I would do that for the playoffs. You know, I do want to make that trade for the playoffs. So, our second line definitely got younger. Um, hopefully Hornquist can help him out, but, uh, yeah, I like, I like Drew in there, I think he'll contribute a lot, uh, was that, yeah, he should be, he should be kind of been everywhere, right, yeah, goalies, alright, anything else messed up, um, back to edit lines, who's, where, oh, it's on the AHL, okay, hold on, AHL, goalies, yeah, we're gonna have to just put in this guy, yeah, I don't know who he is. I don't think we haven't have him signed, but whatever. There he is. All right, now that should be it. Okay, now to trade away Thorburn. And we'll, okay. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. Hold on. We're going to look for a team that wants him. So let's see. We'll just go over to Thorburn. Okay, so the Ducks do want him. But do they have that kind of power forward guy? Don't look like it. I mean, they have someone like Nieto, but no, no, that's not what I'm looking for. No, none of those guys what I'm looking for. Okay, cops do want them. Don't really have anyone. This They have this Hendricks guy. He's, uh, but he's a grinder. He is a little better, but no, no, no. Uh, I'm looking for someone like a power forward. If there is someone like that, I would, I would love there to be someone like that, but that's very tough to come across. No, no, this guy's too good, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to get a quick look here. Come on now. Brooks like. What kind of guy is he? You know, he's another grinder. But he's better. He's a better grinder. <laughs> he's a lot better. Can't really score. But do we need that? Checker. Let me see. If we did Brooks like for this guy, eh, I think he's a little too good. We'll try it. I mean, they want to. They want Thorburn. They don't want to give up like. But we'll try this. No. Yeah. All right. No. So no. No Brooks like. Um, power forward, power forward. Hmm. Eunice Donskoy should be a lot better. Wow. He's a two-way forward, huh? And, I mean, he's good to He's a good all-around player. But, too much value. They don't want to give him up. Okay. This might... I don't know if this will work. I might just have to find. Wow, a lot of left wings. Teravina, no, 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 no. Scotty Upshaw, I don't think he's the guy. Is he two-way forward? Nah, not really. Who's this merch guy? Two-way forward. Decent. Gordon, another grinder. Better. Another better grinder. Okay. Can't really score. He's got decent poise, though, so he might. I'll check Thorburn's, but this guy is... Yeah, this guy is no... Pretty much no value. Yeah, they got the same poise. It's not really an improvement. But I can probably get something else. And why is this? What's their... Okay. Hmm. I like this. He's only got one year left, too, right? Yeah. I like this. He's very cheap. So way better defensively. Way better defensively. I could probably pick someone else up in that. Uh, get another guy for some depth or something. Like a Rene Bork. Eh, not really. Alright, well, let's see if we'll get a pick out of it. Anything you guys want to give up? Yeah, you do. You have your third. That's too much, though. I'm not going to be able to get that third. I'll try, but... No, 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 too much. I will pick up some, like, later picks, so you never know. Pick up a fourth. All right, we'll try that. We'll, we'll get a fourth. Thorburn for Gordon and a fourth. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. All right, I like that. So we got Boyd Gordon, and he's a better defensive player, way better. And do I have to bring him up, or did he automatically get brought up? Let me see.
Okay, he is in here. Cool. So he's an 80 now. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Substituting all lines, yeah. There we go. And I could probably put this guy on the PK now as well. Special teams. Let's look at the penalty kill. Who do we got there? Yeah, Clutterbuck. Um, or Smith. I'll move Clutterbuck off and put Boyd Gordon in there. There we go. Change in current line, yeah. I don't want to do that change in all lines crap. It'll throw throw everything off. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Back. Alright, that should be all for our trades. Now we can sim to the rest of the season. Uh, let me take care of that player morale. I saw a few people wanted to talk to me. So, that's our trades. Um, I think they were pretty good. I mean, you know, let me, of course, let me know down in the comments. A lot of people didn't like the trade for Vanek, but you know what, that, ha that's what's going to happen. Um, when you're shit, when you're trying to shake things up, trying to, you know, build for the future as well as keep going for the playoff run. Now we were trying to make a play d d um, distinctly for the playoff one. That just wasn't possible, but we did need to get Va Vanek out of there. Um, one year left on his deal. I wanted to get something for him. I probably wasn't going to resign him with the way he performed. So might as well pick up a younger guy and move forward like that. Sorry, Giroux. You're thrilled with your playing time. Good, okay. Um, I'll go with this. Morale. I don't get it. <laughs> Touchy-feely. Just fuck off, man. T tough pill to swallow. Look, hockey's a business. Assertive. Good, there we go. Alright, so older guys I could be assertive with. Um, there we go. Upset. God damn it. I don't get him. You guys are all dicks. Drew in. Okay. Um, motivating. Good. Okay. So he responds. I should probably write all this down about who responds well to what. Because holy crap. Just too many minuses everywhere. Alright. So I'm not terrible with morale. You guys will You guys will just know that. You'll, you'll, you'll just kind of. If you, if you watched me last year, you'll know. <laughs> but now, now it's even more clear. I don't know. All right, so there we go. We take care of that. Now watch us drop out of a fucking playoff spot. Excuse my language. But that's just my luck. Oh man. Let's hope it doesn't happen here. We'll go. Yeah, we'll 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 go start going through this month here and hopefully we'll do okay. Yeah, trade deadlines upon us. Yep, I already made my trades. Don't need any more. Come on. Give me some wins. There we go. There's a there's a win to kick us off. Come on. Now keep winning. Keep winning with this team. Keep winning. Uh, that's a loss right there. Alright, there's another one. We bounced back. Alright, now I'd love to see... Okay, hold on, hold on. The season ticket drive is about to begin. So it looks like we're going to make the playoffs, right? Oh, wow. So... Is the breakdown by section. We sold 73%. Now, will this go up? You know what? I'm not going to mess with the ticket prices. I think they're set well. Um, we'll see if we could hit that goal by selling, what was it, 85% of all. It says that's how much we've sold so far, but the drive is about to begin. So we're, they're going to be promoting. If they see us going through the going to the playoffs, then they'll pay for it, right? Um, and I think I'm advertising. Yeah, I'm advertising so much in season tickets. So we're going to keep that. All right, yeah, we're just going to keep that, and it should bounce up. All right, so there we go. All right, couple wins, three wins in a row. That's what I'm talking about. All right, looks like Jonathan Druin's fitting in well. We have a promotion night here against Calgary. Win it for the fans. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Good win for the fans there on that promotion night. I forget what that one was. It was a puck giveaway or a scarf giveaway. I can't remember. All right, we lost it, but that was a shootout loss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, our team's doing good. All right, another another giveaway night. This, I think, is the last one of the season. Ooh, we lose two to nothing against our rivals. That's not good. Come on, guys. Got to beat those rivals. All right. We answered back. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're a playoff team. We're a playoff team. I think that trade was just what we needed, man. Got that better guy in the third line. Got a younger younger guy in the first line who could probably perform like Vanek does and is only going to get better. Sorry, second line left wing. That's what I meant. All right. If we make the playoffs, will that shoot our... Oh, shit. We need something in our arena. Stop the simulation. This is a home game. This is a home game. Okay, and then these are away games. So, will I be able to repair something in this time period? Home game, two away games, then we have a home game. There we go. Okay, let's just sim to... 
you know what? I'm a, I want to. I'll I'll cheese it. We'll sim up to this day. We'll sim that game, and then we can start the repairs because I want to make sure I can get it all done by the time that we're all back. Yeah, yeah. Sim period. Blah blah blah. We like, might lose this game. Five to two. Yeah, we're losing. <laughs> Six to three. Tomas Hurdle. He's on the Senators. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Bad loss right there. That's all good though. All right, so now I'm gonna check out what the what they want for the arena. Got to make sure everything's good going into the playoffs as well. So what's up, arena? Where are you at? What's going on here? Upgrade and maintain. Team store. Why is everyone trash the team store, man? Poor team store. Repair. Yeah, we'll repair all these. Repair. Ten. Oof. Can I hope they can repair? I can't repair this apparently. Insufficient funds. <laughs> yep. Well, we tried to repair everything. All right. So, note to self: keep. Uh, yeah, keep an eye on the funds a bit more. But whatever. We need the concessions. We need the team store, man. We need to sell shit. Screw the seats. <laughs> all right. Just kidding. All right. So, learning curve right there. But that's fine. I mean. For the playoffs, though, I mean, if we're having a deep run, you know those seats might get in bad shape, but you know what? Whatever. Deal with it. All right, now let's move up past the last game of the season. I'm, I'm not... Yeah, we'll check all the stats and stuff at the end. I don't want to mess them up. They've been on a good run here. We're 43, 25, and 11. Like, that's a great record. We jumped after that after that trade deadline, man. Those moves we made, we have really come together. Yeah, our happiness rating is now 93. All we need is one more to hit that goal, man. One more happiness. By making the playoffs, that should easily give us that happiness, I think. There should be a boost. If there's not a boost, come on. 93, I swear, if we lose it by, like, one happiness, that would be ridiculous. All right, so, yeah, we need the scouter. All right, he's gone here. Let's go to the OHL. Another time for forwards. There we go. All right, now we'll just keep simming up one day at a time, see who we're going to be matched up with here in the playoffs. Oh, Nashville, the last game. We, oh, yeah, here we go. So we're going to be lined up against Nashville here in the first round of the playoffs. Fan habit, this is only 93 still. All right, I think we got to get past some rounds here to get that fan happiness up. But we have a 90 for locker room chemistry. That is great locker room chemistry. I never had anything that high last year and at any point in the GM mode. Never. So that's great. In our first year here, we already have a 90 locker room chemistry. Fan happiness is 93. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. I don't know how our season ticket sales are doing, but hopefully they're doing pretty good here. Yeah, the fans, fans are unbelievably happy. I love that. All right, so in the next video, we're going to be starting up our playoff run against Nashville. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to leave a like if you did. Let me know about those trades, of course, and I will see you in the next one.